In this tutorial, we will show you basic setup, how to configure inputs, formatting media, and getting ready for recording. First, you will want to insert your two AA batteries on the back of your recorder. Over on the right side is the SD card slot. Insert your media here. Also on this side is the menu button and scroll wheel. Flipping over to the left side is the headphone jack, volume control, as well as the power switch. Slide and hold this down to turn on. It will take a while for the recorder to boot up. Once it's on, we are going to enter the menu and scroll down to mode. Push the wheel in to select stereo. This records a left-right mix. Selecting this kicks you back to the home screen. Let's re-enter the menu and scroll up to folder. Choose folder one as the folder to record into. Scroll down to system and make sure date and time are set correctly. Press menu to get back to the main menu. and scroll up to record. Set your recorder to wave 48 kilohertz, 24 bit. We're also gonna set the file name to date Everything else should be off. Go back to the main menu and scroll up to input. We're going to make sure low cut, compressor limiter, one two link, level auto, mono mix, MS matrix, and plugin are off. Monitor should be turned on. Phantom power should only be turned on if the battery in your mic has died. Press menu till you're back on the home screen. On the bottom of the zoom are two XLR inputs. If you are only using one microphone, plug that into channel one. On the front of the zoom, press either one or two to select the XLR inputs as the source to be recorded. Press the record button to arm record. This allows us to monitor the audio in our headphones and on the meters. Now let's set the levels for channel one, which will appear as L on the meters. Set this so the peaks are hitting around negative 12. If you are using two microphones, set channel two to the same. If not, set the input level to 0.1. Now we're ready to record. Press record to start recording. To pause recording, press the play pause button. To resume recording, press this button a second time. Pressing record a second time drops a marker. At the end of each take, press the stop button. Doing this will disarm the tracks. Press the record button to rearm the tracks to get ready for the next take. For more information, stop by the Womp House or visit our website to download the full Zoom H4 manual.